Go ratings, everyone, and welcome back to Kaiser Redux. I'm your host, Mr. Hiram Wesley Evans, Purple Robe Lover. And right now, we're doing a ceasefire with the Black Militants, of all things. Oh, oh boy, what are we doing? A ceasefire? Well, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do when you reform the, uh, clan. Our recent feuding with the black population of America does not bode well for our stability and the safety of our cause. This conflict can be ended by creating a, a whiter... America. In pursuit of this goal, we shall meet their leaders and agree not to apply the Black Codes to areas designated as Black Regions, so long as they cease all terrorist actions while we work out a solution to the current crisis. Yes, or crises. But we need a certain clan, k clan education. Our children, <clears throat> bless their hearts, must learn true American values, as well as about historical criminals who attempted to undo our nation, such as MacArthur, Grant, and of course, the tyrant Lincoln. The place of the Kalayan in defending American history and required readings from a pro <clears throat> white point of view is of absolute necessity, alongside a focus on creating auxiliary organizations in higher education. And we get some family programs, that'd be pretty nice. It's all in the family. Ooh, we can do true corporatism, not bad, or Liberia plan. Hmm, I kind of want to do that one and get them out as fast as we possibly can, so. The solution to how to deal with the. <clears throat> Black America has been proposed since the founding of America to finally follow through with sending the black population back to Liberia, or just to Liberia. In the short term, it may be costly, but in the long term, white Anglo Saxons will always be the rulers of a stable America, of course. While some black nationalists will agree to the plan under certain conditions, others may be less keen about it. But you gotta do what you gotta do, as our army is honestly looking pretty darn, pretty darn good. We're so good that we have secondary army to beat up the Mexicans as well. When we do go to war with the Entente, because they need to be smashed into little bits. So we'll probably do this. We'll invade Canada. Probably be relatively easy. Invade Mexico. Give us a little bit of trouble. We're making better and better ships, which is awesome. We'll invade Venezuela. We might just try to invade all of South America as well. Um, and then push into the Entente eventually, maybe. Or, or maybe go up here too. Maybe we'll, we'll see what happens. I'm going to invade Denmark. We might try to invade these small little islands around here. No guarantees of anything, but... Well, that's probably kind of the game plan that I'm thinking about right now. That being said, can we do anything else here? Uh, rapid fire guns? No. You just have a faster cruiser thing, and then. Alright. Uh, radar. I definitely get radar now. That's better. Uh, anti air, at least level 3. I don't want to go to war too early, just because we need more naval XP first. I'll uh, get rid of those guys. And since we haven't even worked on these guys anyway, that's fine. Boom. One. Boom. Modern cruiser holder. Nice. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Improved rubber. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, oh, they have to clear one ulster. Man, well, what else is new? Since we're here anyways. Oh, it's scared too. Very nice. Get that one too, since we have that anyways. And it's 44, so we'll get those modern tanks soon enough. I'd like to grab that stuff. It is 44, so let's grab some better plants, because we are definitely going to need to have maxed out air by the time we do go to war with... Uh, the Entente. <laughs> the Imperial Wizard Dome sounds really nice. Uh, Alaska owned and controlled by them. We can't get it back because, well, we already got Alaska and New England. That was one of the comments from yesterday. You should get Alaska and New England back. Well, we kind of already did. So, yeah, not bad. And my god, our Navy needs to be improved so much more. Oh my goodness. A clan education. A library plan. Ball with Oh. Library plan is no longer fulfilled. Oh, it must be the other library plan. It's fine. Oh, we get, wow, we get weekly stability, but teacher policy. With a new American education policy, our curriculum is expanded, pushed, and explicitly pro-clan, white, supremist viewpoint. Oh. However, there's the issue of uh, older teachers still being present, many of whom had liberal connections prior to the war, and it's doubtful that they will enthusiastically teach our new tenants, and they may try to avoid teaching them at all. As such, we can appoint a new committee, headed by John Rankin, to examine centers of education and teachers. This committee will ensure teachers keep up with our new standards, rewarding those who... Do and punish those who don't. <clears throat> the only question is what to do with the teachers we already know. Would be skeptical of our ideas, as arresting them in mass would leave us with a shortage of teachers in larger classes. <clears throat> now that's something I've never seen before. A debuff to industry research. Set up a thing. The committee and a suffrage. Yeah, we'll probably go that way. That sounds like a lot more fun. An actual debuff to industry. It's kind of wild, actually. Let's take a look. Where is it under research? Yeah, no nothing act. There's that. But blueprints. Does it actually take effect? It doesn't look like. Oh, there it is. 
The p it's green, but it's negative 20%. Cool. Modern carrier hole. Nice. Let's get some heavy guns, too, because we're going to need some heavy guns. We'll get some uh, tanks. Not tanks. Subs as well, because sub threes. At the beginning of sub three, just sub four. They're just. When you spam them out, they're very strong. Very strong, and I love them. So look at that one. Dennis. Deportation policy. Ooh. Uh, if I had slightly polls, let's grab some of that. After meeting with the black nationalist groups such as the Nation of Islam and the UNIA to form a united front policy against the socialist liberals, minority religions, and other enemies of ethno nationalism, we've been given some possible solutions for the issue of black resistance in the region. The black nationalists would prefer the black south was made into an autonomous zone under their control, but paying tribute and agreeing to an alliance with the larger U.S. They claim that this will allow them to enforce racial purity within their own borders while fighting. Those in fault are moral standards. It will make it easier to gain black military allies. Likewise, they encourage us to deport the pure blood of blacks to the region. Race moderates in the Young Clan and the UNIA. However, we prefer to be simply sponsored a back to Africa mission to cut down on a black population in a way that conformed to the goals and granted some more autonomy in the South. The hardliners, however, stated that we should only agree uh, to the black back to Africa mission and grow the lines with them from afar. <clears throat> you know what? Two birds, one stone. The Black Revolt. So there's another comment saying I should play the Black Revolt, and I do. I do want to play the Black Revolt. That sounds like a lot of fun. So we will eventually. I promise you that. Agree with the moderates. Go with white hardliners. Um. Well, we are the young guys, so it was simply sponsored a backed mission there. Only agree to the backed Africa and grow an alliance with them. Honestly, I like that idea a lot because if we get them to take over Liberia, um, that gives us a springboard to launch into there. The moderates. Wait, what is that? They get Corzum. What is that? Hun? Hunyad? Wait, why does the Black Revolt get. I thought that wasn't African or America. Why do they get. Why do they get. This part of Hungary? That doesn't make any sense. I kind of go to the white hardliners. I mean, that makes more sense. But. Uh... <clears throat> Excuse my voice. Oh my goodness. I'm going to go with the moderates just because it's the young clan, so. And maybe in the future we'll go with both, so. But now we got to read about what else? Cooperation from afar? Hey, maybe, yeah. Wouldn't be too bad. Uh, true corporatism, that's not bad. Yeah, that's pretty good. We must set the economy on a path that is both functional and patriotic. Why should be encouraged to form patriotic unions in order to protect them from the capitalists who will be expecting to pay a minimum amount to white workers? Representatives of minorities whom have learned their place will be dealt with separately, so long as they do not expect the same privileges nor unionize. It's basically telling them to get out. Be up front. Be honest with them. Get out. Cool. Hangar space is nice. Get this is a wee bit of armor. Um, I've been told sometimes don't use that, but I like using armor just because if they get hit once, they're dead. So, and I don't want to lose carriers. They're cheap to make compared to other v vessels, but it's still a ship lost, and I don't like losing ships. So, there you go. We're going to make a lot more dockyards. Uh, we're done making that pretty bad carrier. Dreadnoughts, are you any better yet? You can get rid of our forge. It's nice. Yeah, it's better, but it's not that much better. Medium SPG artillery. We do want to use those guys, and we'll basically use the modern... Using modern SPG artillery. We need a lot of chromium, chromium where we're headed. Uh, we got light tanks. 40 is way more than good enough. Uh, we need more medium tanks, honestly. Columbia's gone. That's fine. That's just another ally we get in the future then. I just... I wish we had more dockyards. Okay, build, 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 build. A lot of dockyards. We're going to need a big old navy. We're going to need subs. We're going to need a lot of things. Like all this extra time that we spent just to build ourselves up. Obviously, with the military, we'll be fine, but still. Also, are we at maxed out? Yeah, we are maxed out. That sucks. I hate that so much. Oh, wait, what? Czechoslovakia. Why? Why would you do that? Oh, you're in your own faction. Okay, so the next pack's gonna be pretty difficult. We don't have to fight them, but Commonwealth of Independent Nations. So, cool. Um, mountain resistance. You guys. Could... Oh, we don't have a mountaineers. God dang it. Oh my goodness. And here we don't have any army XP either. Medium armor divisions. Well, we have you guys, which are 28 combat, which is not great, but whatever. Alright, well, that's the case. Hmm. I feel kind of trapped. Getting this off, too, would be very good. Um, well, we're going to get the subs. Subs are good. Subs are very good. And we can get some more planes. Honestly, look at this point, we could probably just go to war. We have enough naval XP to last for a while. Get our holes. Uh, what do we have here? Is it just ships? Yeah, it is. Okay. Well, 
honestly, at this point, we literally just might as well just manually justify. Because, I don't want to wait that long. <laughs> cool. So, we'll probably manually justify. So, a Western Brethren. We can actually do that one, too. The w Imperial Wizardom of America can join the Entente. We could, but... Counter Syndicals action. That would not give us that very much. Uh, let's see. Fortress of America, we could do that as well. Which is the way I went with MacArthur when I played as Ka in Kaiser Reich. Man the walls. American protectionism sounds pretty normal what we would do with, you know, national populism. Uh, let's get some research done first, and we'll come back to this. Let's get some better cast as well. We don't want to forget about that just yet. Anything else here? Probably not. That's fine. Whatever. Look to the Reich's Adler. Now, DC Stevenson's has to be the... Do here. I'm pretty sure the last time I did this, I did go ambition to the state. We'll probably do that one. Oh no, we get it done. Oh, seven day. Oh, that's so, that's so, that's so quick. Okay, Mal Mal. Honestly, if that's the case, 49 days. Oh, that's so long ago. We'll do back on the world stage. Then. Now that our position as a world power has been restored to us, it's time to figure out where we fit in the scheme of things. Yeah, we'll do ambition to the state. Every time we we play this nation, we're probably just gonna do ambition to the state. Let's be real here. Ambition to the state is pretty good. Back on the world stage. Alright, so since we have a little bit of time, uh, get rid of you guys. We don't even have a radar on level 3. Oh my goodness. Battleship armor is fine. Go with that one too. We're going to really deck these guys out. Super heavies, no. Uh, honestly, that looks pretty good. Yeah, that looks pretty good. This looks pretty strong. And that's pretty that's pretty darn fast. Oh, just in time. I was wondering, where are we going to get level 4s? Nice, so 4. Good, good. Not that much slower. Nice. So it's going to take like 4,000 years to actually get this stuff out, but whatever. That's why we're making a lot more dockyards. Uh, not you. Cool. Because once we go to war, we're not going to have any ability to really uh, make that stuff. Grab that because we need that eventually too. Anything else here? Nope. Cool. Are you guys in training? Good. You guys in training? Sort of ish. We still have patent, which is awesome. Actually, yeah, I don't see that one. These guys is not bad. 28, we still have two light tanks, but this basically sets us up so that we can go ahead and put SPG artillery on them. Actually, we can probably duplicate them, but we're going to wait first, probably. Uh, it's going to replace this. I don't want to deal with light tanks. There, there you go. Okay, back on the world stage, and then we'll do ambitions of the state. America was not meant to stand on the sidelines as the old European nations and the rising Asian countries around the world. Our old empire will be put the Romans to shame, and we'll begin to prepare for foreign conquests for the good of our people. <clears throat> Because our people deserve it. So let's take a look here. Because we have a lot of planes set up already. We want to make sure that when we do go to war, we got plenty of planes already out. So lots of cast. I love cast. Uh, I can't be bothered to train them. It's fine. 300 here. Can you duplicate y'all? There you go. Honestly, you can do this as well. Get some radar. Do some anti-air action. Do that stuff too. There you go. There you go. Good. All right. Uh, 400 here. Fighters. Nice. Because I'm going to forget these guys as soon as the war starts. So. And under there, uh, who are you? Strategic bomber, it's fine, whatever. Uh, planes, oh, we got quite a few planes. Not as near, near as much as I really think we should have, but whatever. 400 there. Uh, more planes. A couple tactical bombers, ain't too bad. <clears throat> and we have a cup of coffee to give us some more. We'll some comments go through soon. Empty air. I don't want to get these guys shot down too much. I guess go right there. Back on the world stage. Ambitions of the state. Nice. Yeah, let's go get some better carrier fighters. They're not as important as naval bombers, but whatever. We'll still get them done. Uh, do that one there. That one there. 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 Ah, that's interesting. There you go. Better fighters. Honestly, fighter threes. One, two, three. One, two. One, two. One, two. That's what I thought. Cool. Oh, the liability actually goes down. Let's, sit. let's wait for them. <coughs> That time go on. Nope. Just wanted to get the modern ones. Um, Cuba. It's fine. As long as we don't go over the, over the war axe pact as well at the same time. So after that one, manifest destiny. Our place in the world is not with the old world. America was meant to rule in North America. And so it shall. Let us hit the treacherous Canadians and the cynical influenced Mexicans at, home, at once and use its resources for our own people. We get a lot more wars, but we lose some stability, which is fine because we get weekly stability anyways. All of the Americas will be ours. They will be. Yeah, we don't extract very much chromium, do we? That sucks. German Empire, lower that. No matter what happens, get as much chromium right now as you possibly can. 
uh, build, 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 build. Might as well go to the extensive conscription already. Anyways, we got stuff there. Lead the boars. Oh, that'd be kind of nice. Pacific Pact. Oh, Pacific Pact. You know, we might as well do that too, since it's, so, since it's so quick. We gain nothing from going to the east and starting fights when we need to consolidate the west, especially when Japan remains a solid ally who are, like us, simply attempting to end cynicalism and protect its people. Despite not all of us being... <sighs> Comfortable with their race and culture, an agreement of sorts would serve both sides quite well. Keep building some more dockyards. Uh, we we still import some rubber. I still want to build some up some more uh, roads here too, because we definitely need that. So do that and do that. Some more of this too. And radar will be good. Actually, we're looking really good on radar. That's really nice. I'll go over here too. That'd be, that'd be good. Set you guys to set and forget, perhaps just slightly. Magnet detonators, because these guys will do really, really well when we get there. Even more torpedo attack. Good, good, good. And more air bases, yes, please, because we need them immediately. Fighters. Actually, yeah, you guys need fighters. One, two, three. There you go. My bad. Some sort of fighter group here. And since you're here, you can just go up to... There, there you go. You can bomb the crap out of them if you really want to in Toronto. Uh, that many fighter... Uh, cast. Put them on the tanks, it's fine. Shipwise, we need to make a new uh, carrier group. Because you guys already have four carriers, so... That one's not too bad. We definitely need more screens there, though, so... I'll be making a lot of capital ships. That's why I'm making more cruisers right now. Just tons and tons and tons and tons of cruisers. Cuba, that's fine. I don't think we really need to make more civvies, but eh, we're okay. What do we have here? War propaganda? Screw it, why not? We might as well, right? Ambitions and say, Oh, do we have another ship too? Yeah, we have E4. Oh, we already have modern cruisers, they're nice. Alright, Manifest Destiny. Now aggression back with the Japanese. It'll be great. We go to war. Have a good time. What's, be what's better than this? Killing off all the Entente. We do have two 40 combo with motorized divisions. I apologize for taking so long to go to war with these guys. It is what it is. You know, we're trying. We're trying hard here. And my goal is to reduce lag in the game. So basically, we're going to annex everybody. Especially if we keep getting weekly stability. That's really strong. That's actually really nice. That's ridiculously nice. All right, so now the time of uh, grinding naval XP is over. Give them like a day or something like that. Or maybe a few days. Uh, I want to make sure that we set up our coast well enough. So I get some fighters. Uh, it's not much, but boom, boom. Right there. Uh, send you guys down here too. Because they're going to get the crap beaten out of them. Our ships are going to get the crap beaten out of them uh, when we do this too. So, we go to Florida. And, to get these well. And then we have you guys going down to probably Texas. Or actually just maybe the Deep South. Or maybe just the Deep South. There you go, just in case. Uh, do we have any naval bombers? Yes, we do. That's good. We got the Pacific back done as well. Split, boom, boom, there you go. You guys, basically the same thing. Oh, you're already doing that, great. Since you're here anyway, just get one thing at 100 of these guys. We're not gonna have any planes soon. If all our planes just torn up and stuff. All right, so, so, so oh, you guys, oh, we have no one here. Oh, that's not good. Um, Yeah, there you go, do half you guys there, go half you guys there. All right, uh, lead the boars. The Boers are one of the few people that are brave enough to stand openly for the same values as us. But sadly, they're under attack in their own nation, despite all they've done. And from abroad, by leftist fanatics who insist on a mythical race equality. Won't bite them to a new alliance that will be mutually beneficial. They're probably going to die, but that's alright. That's a risk we're willing to take. <clears throat> Cooperation from afar? Uh, let's do true corporatism, I think. Family programs? Yeah, let's do true corporatism next. We must set the economy on a path that is both functional and patriotic. Why should we be encouraged to form patriotic unions? Which I read this one earlier. But I'll read it again. In order to protect themselves from capitalists, those darn greedy capitalists, we then will be expected to pay a minimum amount to white workers. Representatives of minorities who have learned their place will be dealt with separately, so long as they do not expect the same privileges nor, nor unionize. Yeah, my bad for re reading that. I I can't remember sometimes what I read. Ooh. Ooh. Look at that. Yeah, definitely, because we're going to need a lot. Yeah, that's not good. Hmm. And get them all up here, because I want all the divisions up here, so when we get to kill them all off, for realsies, they all die. But we got to think about the family. The failure of the old clan was considered the like triple K, merely a malicious society when it's a societal, 
or an is a society for all the white race. However, that can only mean or be true if the Klan sees a massive expansion in membership among Native American Protestants. The organization will expand its child league, host celebrations ranging from small to large, and provide family benefits to due paying members. That sounds like a great union to join. Why doesn't everyone join the Klan Union? Hmm. All right. So at this point, uh, I don't mind keep doing Cuba for now. Russian. Unfortunately, we can't do Russia anymore because we're gonna get a convoy all blown up, and I don't want that. Oh my gosh, that's so bad. Uh, what do for now? Uh, we'll just import from Cuba. South Africa allies us. As South Africa's joined our cause. We stand uh, against those who would destroy Protestant and white survival and increase our own odds in the process. And sure, these so-called natives of Africa do not attempt to overthrow the natural, natural societal or social order. Nice. You know what, screw it. You know, I don't ever do this. This is dumb. Why not? We need to have our own faction here. Right? Nicholas Jacobus de Vett, your social conservatives. Russian Republic. L L social li How is Czechoslovakia? Or Czechos is it Czechoslovakia? Yeah, the revolutionary Czechs. Yeah? How are they not dead? I don't understand. Whatever. Alright, torpedoes for radar. Good. Torpedoes. I heard snorkels aren't very good, so that's why I like, never use them anymore, so. Or at least compared to like, radar, so. Do that and get two of these guys. Nice. Alright, very nice. And we got this one. Let's get this one, because torpedo chance helps us out so much. Save the game, because we are here to save the white race and uh, do what we can. And also, over here, we already have a. Uh, Oh, yeah, the Republican Bureau of Investigation. Hmm. All right. I, did, I think I did ask you guys yesterday whether uh, what we should call ourselves. Or was in the first episode. I can't remember it anymore. Thanks, uh, Nicholas Cage. Thanks, Harrison Ford. But let's see what happens when we go to war. We're ready. Ish. Thanks. We have no allies, but that's all right. Um, you guys keep giving me those minor holes. They still use militia, wow. Mexico. Yeah, Mexico's gonna be a lot tougher. I don't wanna fight until we get some guys in there. Sure guys, why not? And we're probably losing convoys like crazy, yeah. Cool. That's what I thought. Losses forty three. Oh, that's not bad. Mongolian Alliance. Nine thousand from us. Promoted very nice. At least we're back at war, though. Sure. I don't care. All these Asian factions, nations, that's fine with us. Nice. Nice. There we go. They call Mexico in. I don't know how well you guys... I don't think you're going to do that well down here. Because they're, they're, they're kind of death stacking down here. Do the best you can. I mean, we're America. We'll get more manpower somehow some way, so... Landing craft, that's fine. Air doctrine, oh my gosh, we need to definitely do our air doctrine. Good, good, good. Once we, these guys are done, uh, we're going to push into here too. So, Honestly, we're doing a lot better than I thought we would in Mexico. I guess I didn't have a lot of faith for our guys, but still. Um, Air. I did not set us up to be very successful here, did I? Uh, you guys... Then fighters, or fighters for now. <clears throat> Overall, better than I thought we'd do. So, now nah, it's our ships are out, which is great. I'll have you guys do both, do all three of these areas. It's fine. Convoys sink, sunk, 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 sunk. We all have to fight the UK as well, which sucks, but whatever. It's fine. That's what we're here for. Good. And getting more factories will definitely help us out as well. So we can get more numbers. The nut was wounded, alright. Should have done Mexico instead, maybe. Hey, Canada's gone, yay! It's looking like what it should look like. I don't want to send everyone down here, so actually, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to send you two down here. Join this group. There you go. And you, for now, can help us just kind of like guard coasts. Because they might try to invade us later on, so. I, I literally have nothing else to do with you right now, so yeah, we'll see. I'll pass by the region and whatnot. Cool. 
Well, even the devs remember Rhode Island is its own thing. Those are devs that care. There you go, that's fine. Uh, just in case, get up to Alaska too. Very nice. Vancouver. Nice. San Fran, LA, San Diego. Should be pretty good for now. We'll, we'll have them do something else later on. Negotiate with the Entente. We will start negotiating with the Entente for peace, but stubborn imperialists won't give up easily. Taking initiative in the battlefield, the enemy's weariness in their home front, or the number of cities we control in Canada could help our cause. Yeah. I prefer talking about families. Nice. Need a little bit more chromium, which is fine. We're working on these guys, which is pretty good too. We need more screens, though. We just need more screens. Nice. Looking better already. Get way more modern cruisers. Homing torpedoes, nice. Good stuff, good stuff. We hit him, we hit him hard. So, are we making any subs yet? Not yet. Oh, and we have so many battleships. We're taking quite a few losses against Mexico. Probably. Uh, where are they? 23,000? Eh, could be better. What's over here? Two subs. Oh. Couple, couple ships, huh? Nice, 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 nice. More subs, nice. Nice. Keep sinking over the eye. It's not, it's not a lot like a true naval battle, but. Yeah, kind of demolishing their navy. Or just a task force, not their navy. Convoys, Avengers. I'm going Con 8, nice. Oh, look at that, that's pretty good. Get those boys down there. Vine and Horn's going to do a great, great job for us. Especially with extra air superiority here, which we probably don't have too much of. Ah, we're doing okay ish. We have 2200 planes with late 600. That's nice. Very good, actually. We're struggling down here, but you know what? I think everyone is. Everyone's suffering and suffering stuff down here, so. Go and build them up, too. That's not enough dockyards, too. There you go. Fortress. Americas. Actually, now we can build more. No, so what's the point of showing it to me? Can you actually just get St. Pierre as well? No? Alright, we'll see what happens. Uh, ships, yep. Ah, good, yes. No. No, I want you here. D. That's what it was. D. Um. Sword efficiency won't really make a lot of sense for you to be there, so there you go. Huh. I never use that button. I would just manually do it. Makes it easier for me. Oh, see, they're nailing, trying to invade us. That sucks. Marshals of the Red Shirts. The clan has seen expansion, but nonetheless suffers each chapter from having a bit too much autonomy. This breeds leadership crises, and the habit of the clan changing by region makes it look arbitrary at times. Being either too soft or harsh in a way that has to lose public support. Therefore, for the Marshals of the Red Shirts act as inspectors for the clans and the sectors, taking orders from American Emperor himself. Marshals of the Red Shirt. That's not, not a bad name. Nice, look at that. Task Force is being destroyed. See, I knew they would invade. I knew they'd invade eventually. Oh, I didn't have all you guys do it. Okay, it's just you? Well, that's bad. My bad. I want everyone here to do it. I knew they did naval invade. And honestly, if they naval invade, that would just rile up more people to help defend the nation too. So my bad about doing this again. Defend your territory. They want you enslaved. Just don't ask what we're doing to them. There you go. You should have more than enough divisions for that. Yeah, and these guys are 40 combos, so uh, I'm not too concerned about it. There you go. What happened here? Can't tell? Nice. Nice. Cool. Uh, still doing not terrible down here. Supplies probably really got awful, though. There you go. Definitely going to be a struggle, but that's alright. Nice. 
It's good stuff. Make sure we don't take too many hits. Greek operative capture. That's very weird, but okay. Nice. Good. Good, good, good. Um, anything better for artillery? Yes. It's better artillery. Do we lose something here? Just plants. It's fine. Yeah, they got plenty of ships. So a kill. It's fine with us. Sink all them convoys. Martial policy. We found the marshals to regulate clan activities throughout the region, bringing in the loosely coordinated members of the Ruck and Crews who enforce clan law, and gave them training and badges. An eternal debate's grown, uh, begun, however, on how regulated the chapter should be. Uh, we can't do anything here, so. Uh. <clears throat> With some members, such as James Cole Scott and the Cl Clan Youth League, wanting to write an official charter that will set stricter rules and acceptable punishments for those who stray from our law. While William Green would prefer we just keep them more give them more autonomy. Instead, just have loose guidelines and warnings for them to follow that they're either too soft or too harsh. Write a charter? Autonomy? I like the manpower, but... Do we, get, we don't get more weekly war support, do we? Oh, we do. We get a lot. Holy crap. Hmm. Let's see. Economy. I like this one. Let's go with that one. Uh, since we're here, come down to Mexico. It might help us out. I know the Mexico State's going to fall soonish. Uh, come to Yucatan as well. Uh, do, what do we think here? Destroyers? Nice. And a cooperation from afar? Well, with the American black population increasingly residing in Liberia, we could follow the suggestions of some nationals on both sides of the aisle and improve relations with the state for both their resources and a shared front against syndicalism and integration. In return, they would undoubtedly want something from us, but a nominal ally would be useful as we are short on them. Upgrades here yet? Maybe, maybe not. Oh, we got Mexico City. That's nice. Eight thousand manpower left. Not bad. Not bad at all. Find them convoys and kill them all. Oh, goes Italy, who died faster than Czechoslovakia. Go flip and figure. We need some Marines too, aren't we? Oh, and they're being released, so be it. Yeah, I'll go need some Marines. I'll convert some of these divisions to Marine divisions. Uh, these divisions suck. Sucks. Just make them fat and thick. We have more than enough army XP now, which is nice. Cool. And let's grab logistics first. Engineers, support artillery. Just a standard stuff. It makes all a lot of sense. So anti air because he can. Um, honestly, I don't see the point of giving him armor. You get point nine armor. And for recon, you get three. Oh, for that's lightly armor. This one you get. Okay, nine point nine is not too bad, but still, you get two recon. These guys, you get two and a half. And for these guys, you get two. So actually, this is the best. You know, we got more than enough light tanks. Let's do it. Do it anyways. I want to use them, but mm, convert them to three for now. It's fine. Oh wow! Holy crap! We lost two planes for a carrier, two battleships, three, two armor cruisers, four destroyers. That's nice. It's very nice. Make sure that when we do repair, though, we got plenty enough stuff here for to repair with. More. Challenger kill. That sucks. Sucks, bro. Gotta bait the enemies into wanting to come here. Nice. We got a lot of stuff around here. A lot of stuff. My goodness. My bad. Cooperation from afar. That's fine. Anything else next? Negotiate? No. Uh, let's see. Birth of a Nation. I do like Birth of a Nation. It's a fun movie, isn't it? Um, increased military spending. Naval training. Oh, hello. The Quebec issue? The Catholics of Quebec are taking serious issue with our Catholic-related stances and weeding out our potential cynicals amongst those who sympathize with the commune. Let's see, 
Let many of them join their beloved commune via controlled deportation campaign. All right, everyone. So as you can tell, Mexico's gone. We've actually just capitulated the Central American Republic, and we've been doing a few more focuses off screen, such as the create the ESMWT. The Engineering Science Management Award training is a brainchild of the Department of Commerce to decentralize technological changes. Instead of cooperation that would disrupt the competition, given an unfair advantage to certain businesses, this program disburses its findings freely to the public. New weapon designs. The Army is reporting that our infantry weapons are insufficient to deal with both close-range automatic fire and long-range sharpshooters. These gaps will take more lives if we are unable to fill the need as soon as possible. Army bonus bill. Combat hardens boys into men and his men into solid steel. Unshakable pillars of Americanism. Only fool would leave veterans such as these by the wayside by paying generous additional bonuses to combat veterans predicated on continued upstanding citizenry and especially involvement in our military research <clears throat> apparatus. We can perhaps at least truly harness their potential. Which I don't know why that last there. I think at the bottom gives you like bonus to land doctrine. By this time, you pretty much have all land doctrine done. So, a um, couple more things: consolidate our southern holdings. Uh, our, we need to hold on to our holdings of Central America. No easy task when rebels seek to destroy us, despite their cause having lost and them simply being ruled over as the laws of the nations dictates. A military campaign to weed out radicals and build more outposts will centralize our control. Not bad. Look at all these guys cut off, and we also have a lot we're sending our subs down here too. So, we'll see what happens. We'll definitely see what happens. As we have quite a few extra ships down here. There's a lot of capital ships. Way too many capital ships. It's kind of nuts. There we go. No, 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 no. Not you guys, you ding-dongs. You tell them not to merge, and then they all merge. It's stupid. Okay. So I want you to do. You gotta make yourself stronger. This guy's already a lot. He's already a sea wolf. Nice. Uh, I don't like... I like both of these... I don't want penetration, I, but I like less torpedo re reveal chance. Getting both of these is very strong as well, so. Like, they're gonna just chuck the crap out of every single torpedo they possibly have, which is I love, 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 love. Cool. And Finland, okay then, Finland. Um, I do want these guys to invade there too. We'll see what happens. Come up there if you possibly can. You should be able to win. 40 combos should be able to win here, so. I still have a lot of guys down there, which sucks, but, uh. Yeah, go on in, guys. Go on in. And we'll take out Panama, too. If we possibly can. It's going to kind of suck doing it like this, but it's all right. Uh, take you, because you have the most divisions. There you go. Head on down here. Ooh. Are we not... A... Uh, yeah, they're only on taunt. Yeah, I don't want to take out those guys. We might have to. We'll see what happens, though. Consolidate Southern Heritage. Yes, please. You guys get out of there, maybe, perhaps. Come back up to Mexico-ish. Just because a lot of things down around there. I do want to try to naval invade as well some more, perhaps. That'd be very nice. Well, since you guys are here anyway, you must do that. Thank you. In the naval invading with tanks, but whatever. Go and try it. We do have naval supremacy, so that's pretty nice. Anything else here? Just 24. I mean, this is really dangerous to use, but screw it, we're going to do it anyways. I want a second set out. The eagle spreads its wings. With the major goals fulfilled, let us secure the final resources we need in South America for a powerful ally that will never be free from what? We could press for Greenland, but I want to wait for that one. Destiny of the Anglo-Saxon world. Great Britain and France have the potential to be great nations, but sadly, Biden and Marxism instead of now threatens to destroy us all. American leadership in the Anglo and French world is what's needed here. Oh, we can't win. Oh, 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 too much. Can you actually move down there in time? You might be able to. Nice. Yucatan is gone. Good, 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 good. If we force that there attack, we might do really well. Better anti-aircraft guns are very nice as well. Get some more, actually, logistics. Your choice to lose, man. They might be mechanized. It doesn't mean they're any good. Ooh, we lost some convoys. That sucks, bro. Alright, that's the case. You all do this, too. That's fine. Subs? Nice. More subbies. More chubbies. Let them starve. If they want to starve and die, so be it. We're doing A-OK -okay down here. Not great, but A-OK. -okay. Get some of that, get some of that. Get some more of that. Yes, overrun them. Destiny of the Anglo world? Yes, please. We'll get Denmark, or Greenland from Denmark hopefully later, hopefully. Uh, urban warfare training would be nice. I do prefer that one. I never do naval training, but I do prefer this one. We need a larger Marine Corps and ensure that they're able to project power around the globe. 50 to 50 day focus. Holy crap. I get hungry too. Holy crap. Alright, so you are this group. So you should have as many planes as possible. Oh my god, 600 planes only? That sucks, bro. Oopsie. Combine. 
Oopsie. There you go. Need more planes, because we can. Uh, what happened here? Not much. Cool. So do we evade? Sort of ish. And we'll go there too. So after Urban War for Training, Semper Five. Semper Fidelis means always loyal. The Marine Corps will always be a bastion of American liberty and democracy and help spread those freedoms around the world. Our type of democracy. Cool. I think maybe the goal, a good goal for the campaign is to take out all the Americas. Even if we don't like fully capitulate the Entente. Like, I still want to get South America with us. I think it'll be good. A couple comments as well. Oh, NPs. Uh, we're not going to get Rockwell this time, which means we'll play them again in the future. I know a lot of you guys are disappointed that we won't get Rockwell or even Yaki in this campaign. Hey, there's always next time, though. You can definitely play as a Triple K anytime. Uh, so, someone says plays Yaki. Yep, sometime I will as well. Someone says Crimea has a new focus tree in the GitHub version of Kaiser Redux. Oh, sounds like a lot of fun. We'll try it out sometime. Not sure when, but sometime. Oh, these are not. Oh, we're not at war with. Oh, no wonder we can't win here. Go to war with them too, yeah. See what we can do with these guys. As long as we get your superiority. That'd be very good. Uh, let's see. So Kaiser, Redux, Kaiser Redux can get very laggy. Yes, you were completely right. It can get very, very laggy. Someone says we should get some nukes. Yes, I think nukes would be a great addition. And we're already researching, or, you know, starting research for some nukes as well. Convert you all to Marines as well. Oh, hello. Uh, someone says it plays a Black Belt Republic. Eventually we will, I can guarantee you that. Not sure when, but I guarantee you that we'll play them sometime. Okay, King, since we start reducing the amount of air power they have in the, sh in the place here. It's fine. Um, San Pedro Island. <sighs> San Juan would be good. Yeah. Nice. Keep seeing the convoys. Actually, this is really good just to keep seeking all the convoys if we keep one group here. Which is fine. Uh, someone says it plays Kaiser Redux Fengshin Dynasty. Get New England and Alaska back. And we should call our intelligence agency the Grand Dragons, but we went with the uh, Marshals of the Archers, because Grand Dragons, uh, it's, I'm pretty sure that's like an actual rank or insignia of the clan hierarchy, which I don't know that much about, but they're, they're very weird. Clan hierarchies are very, very weird. 150 still, huh? Oh, are you still, still captured, huh? Oh, well. Oh, you're in the UK. Well, that sucks. We'll see if we can rescue. If not, oh well. Bye, Harrison Ford. Oh, look at this. That's pretty nice. Nice job, guys. Nice. Go in when you can. Over here, get some SP artillery as well. Oh, we should have more than enough medium tanks already, so... Yeah, I got 10,000 in reserve. I'm just gonna do this. Nice, that's not bad. Now we need way more chromium. Thank you, Cuba. We are trading way too much for this. Oh, we actually need some steel too, huh? Cool. Some more radar. Some more of this too, just in case. You never know. Nice. You should be able to win here. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. But yeah, all South America's got to be under us. And Central America too. Oh, by 47, just go to war them all? We will eventually. That's fine. Um, except for Fidelis, of course. And then America rules the waves. Well, our extensive investments in naval research and construction, we have regained our place as world's, one of the world's leading naval powers. Anchors away. And then we'll do some more clan stuff. Clan stuff is fun. Go ahead and you can. You guys are fine. Yeah, just keep baiting their ships into us. Run it out. Bait them out. Oh, there was something here, too, huh? Super heavy armor piercing shells. Nice. Get more attack. Oh. Oh, there's a lot of guys here. Holy crap. 13 divisions, huh? You guys actually... I want to wait to uh, do this stuff over here, too. That's not good, man. That's a lot of divisions. Take Panama. That'll be really good. Man, you guys take forever to get over there. Forever. Oh, Panama's gone. Nice. Good job, guys. You should be able to take that one, though. And there you go. Nice. Go straight on in. You'll be fine, 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 fine. Oh, my gosh. Except for the resources and supplies. Petro... Oh, Petrograd's gone. Maybe we won't go to our right back. Probably not. Yeah, get another front line before they can take it from us. Nice. So you guys.
Oh, duh. Like, why is it not working? Nice. Good stuff. Artillery's fine. Get some better engineers, maybe. Keep one guy there just so you don't get and start going killed off. Uh, cool. Send one. A bit down there. Cool. Combat unit destruction's fine. Got some more ground support. That's good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, keep thinking of everything they got around here. Make them regret them coming here. Shove them all into there because they need more screens and such. Nice. Alright, so after some Fidelis, we'll do that one. What else we got here? Anything else? We still can't go work on it, which is kind of ridiculous, but whatever. We're limited for arbitrary reasons, which sucks. Oh, go ahead if you can. Hmm... I'm gonna wear them too. Eh, why not? Let's go from here. Santo, Santo Domingo. Come here as well to there, maybe. Since we're all here anyway, it's a must do this, right? So I'm gonna be one all big old pants party. See what we can do. Max out on this uh, PP stuff. Not bad. You guys are great. You can go all the way down here. That'd be good. Yeah, produce your influence down here. That'd be great, 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 great. Ah, uh, just kill them off if you're not to. It's fine. You give an into advantage, huh? Not bad. Not too shabrinos. <coughs> Logistics 3, how about Logistics 4? Thank you very much. And then get some planes. <clears throat> Let the planes deploy first and then we'll go to war. There we go, let's go. Uh, why did you? S oh, were there s people here? There might have been people here. Nice. Kick them out. I think we got enough ships to help defend against anything we need to defend against. Nice. Ooh. Greek ships. It's very weird to see Greek ships here. Oh. Definitely going to be counting some serious resistance here. Force the attack because we don't need to. I'll uh, take one guy, move into there. Take you, help support the attack. Temper Fidelis. Nice. Move into there. Help. Take everything else you can. That'll be good. Santo Domingo is ours. And Haitian's been called in. That sucks. It's alright. Ah, Dominican Republic. Yes! Actually, that's really good for us. Um, All you guys. Here. Do that. Do that. Do that. Haiti will be ours too. Oh, we can, what? Ninety days, whatever. You guys are doing fine down here. Actually, if you want, we could probably do this too. You both come here. Be the port of Spain. How are we doing down here? Actually, I completely forgot about you guys. Seems like we're doing okay-ish. Just keep moving on in. Supplies, I'm sure, suck down here and went out, but whatever. Chihuahua, that's fine. Arrowhead, actually, that's not too bad. Keep getting that stuff, keep building up air bases and stuff, because we gotta go through all of South America in the next episode. Look at all this stuff, nice. Do it whenever you can, you'll be fine. Don't have to worry about that. Nice, good stuff. Things looking pretty good. Let's send you back home just in case. Ah, Colombia's gone, yay! Come back to Florida, come to Miami. Kinda hot down there, but that's okay. Oh, hello. That's pretty good. Look at this. Yeah, that's pretty darn nice. Get your setup, it's fine. So now we're gonna go ahead and go down to the mid exports. Oh, you don't need more of that? Great. Oh, nice. Oh, we won. It's a nice one, isn't it? So after America rules away, what are we gonna do? Take out the Haitians, that's right. Uh, anything else on the right side? I, I definitely wanna do more clan stuff. Clan stuff is just so much fun to do. Birth of a nation!
The dreams of Thomas Dixon Jr. has been completed. The KKK, God bless their heart, reigns supreme in no minority, liberal, or socialist, and their right mind would dare oppose it. With the introduction of an amended constitution, the White Leagues will never again operate in the dark, and our celebration should be national. And the Triple K, recognized as a fraternity of America with its opponents, suspect of treachery. Actually, you guys can just go right on in here. Yeah, that's, that makes sense. Yeah, why not? I will try to reinvade Kingston sometime too, so. Not all is lost yet. Oh yeah, Santo Domingo, it's fine. After a short campaign on the island of Hispaniola, we finally managed to shatter the Dominican defenses. Santo Domingo is now in our hands. We must not decide on the future of the Dominican Republic. Nope. Rocket shooting? Nice. Um, anything else here? Industry? Could get some more extraction, I guess. It's fine, I suppose. It's fine, whatever. Uh, you guys keep doing what you're doing. You're doing a great job overall. He's level 7. That's pretty nice. Anything up? Any upgrades? Scavenger? No? Well, you can wait then. Anything else around here? Ace by promoted. You guys just kind of hanging out, which is totally fine with me. There's no one really we want to send out. Oh, I got him killed off. My bad. Um, honestly, yeah, this, I don't see the point in taking out the Reich's Pact. The Entente. I mean, if we could get a peace deal with the Europeans, that's fine. I just want all of South America. I think that'd be a good goal. He's doing great. Meta. Nice. Keep working on that. That can go to the bottom. Panama can go to the bottom. Bottom. That's fine. Let's keep there too. So, do that one too. Make sure we got stuff down here as well because we will invade Peru and Ecuador and all those good old nations soon enough. All right, other ships. Yes, a little more. Good. British operative captured. You guys go right there because you now have more than enough carriers. Well, three carriers. And two of them are modern. Nice. Uh, take you guys. I definitely don't want to send tanks down into here, which would be a really bad idea. Actually, you guys could probably just start going this way too. Head on down, guys. Head on down. Where are you guys at right now? Ah, that's where I sent him. Cool. Might as well. Who cares? America rules the waves. You better she does. Birth of a nation. Uh, fun racial sciences. Ooh, American Exodus. The Klan Cinema. United Against Cynicalism? I like cinema. While in the 20s, Hollywood promoted such filth, or much filth, that has since been banned, it also created similar greatest pictures, such as D.W. Griffith's Birth of a Great Nation. We should now discard but build Hollywood as a piece of white nationalist media through a federally funded broadcasting corporation that oversees the development of new medias under the government guidance lines and with Klan inspectors present. Sounds like a terrific idea to me. When in doubt, clan it up. Go get your, uh, your white hood, son. We're going on a field trip to Venezuela. How have I not been banned from YouTube yet? I shouldn't say stuff like that. Being banned from YouTube, I should say Yeah, whatever. Uh, get some more air base. That'd be good. Nice. Hey, Venezuela's gone. As they should be taken out. Dockyards? Because we can? Yeah, why not? Uh, fuel? You don't really need fuel, but rubber would be very nice. There you go. Cool. Alright, so you guys clean them up. Mop them up. Kill them all off. Good stuff. We know. Lots and lots of casts. Loads of casts. Person die, Christian Law. Camellia. Yes. There you go. Then we'll go through here. We'll probably go to World of Brazil as well. Engineers. Uh, get some of that too. Spend a lot of time building up our navy here. Go and repair if you need to. That's fine. Mm, yeah, one, two, three, four. Oh, national showing. A birth of a nation. After an announcement from the government, the film Birth of a Nation was shown at a discount prices of virtually every theater. Especially after a handful of unpatriotic holdouts refused to show it and were re rewarded with the theater being burned to the ground. This is to be a national holiday known as National Clan Day, with every newspaper still opening, still open, either singing the praises of the young clan or, at most, saying sound while allowing their ads to be on them. While Hiram, after Hiram Wesley Evans gave a speech outside the Egyptian in Hollywood early this morning, he went in with the National Clan leaders to watch a famous film by D.W. Griffith, who is now considered America's national director. The propaganda stunt appears to be a success, and with more of the public viewing us as true defenders of the white race, just as the film depicts. 
uh, Evans announces national ceremonies. The NDWL, under the direction of Young Clan, has announced that the Ku Klux Klan will now officially be the leading organization of not only the NDWL, but of America in general. And the time is in it for secrecy or whatever was left of it. It's clear the national clan ceremonies will not be public and carried uh, out by national leaders of the Invisible Empire and in corrected uniforms. Celebrating this historic achievement, a cross was burned on outside the Capitol today after his speech, which stated that Congress would soon combine the positions of Klan leader and EW leader, which with, or with all intents and purposes, allow the Klan leadership to legally rule for life. Membership in the, into the NDWL was now requires Klan membership, and all Anglo-Saxons born in the U.S. will be registered within their birth. Victor. Victor, we do say. Even though we still can't do more partial mobilization, and we still can't get Gulf Chemical Company, which makes no sense, but whatever. Birth of a nation. Nice. Transport into immigration. Nice. Alright, so now the ship Reno's. Let's just take all of you guys. Do that too. Anything you find here, sink them, sink them, sink them, stink them. Alright, you guys should be good to go. We have no allies, but that's alright. Don't need allies where we're headed. They'll join the on top. I don't really care. Or maybe not. I mean, that's fine with me. I prefer they don't, but that's fine. Oh, good word with Haiti too. Oh, I love beating up Haitians. Can I say that? Just did. Cool. Nice. Plan cinema. And I'll probably end this episode with uh, American Exodus. Minorities are fleeing the U.S. with their presence announcement to proclaim the fraternity of America. Most of the members are quite happy with this, although some believe they're leaving too slowly. We should turn up the pressure by issuing a warning to leave if they do not respect clan authority, followed by ele elevating imprisonment on those who don't take it seriously. But hey, if you enjoyed the video and the whole cinema scenario for the Imperial Wizardom of America, please do consider leaving a like. It does help me out. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when I'll have taken out all, or we will take out all of South America. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great, great rest of your day.